Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here to talk about FIFA Friday, the Footmas edition. I'm sure some of you guys saw EA's tweet and that's basically what I wanna talk about today. I wanna to look at the stuff that is coming, look at what they're doing, and also kinda of look at the all the stuff that we could see today, right? That people are talking about Road to the Final, is that gonna happen? A batch, like three of those cards, like a second full set, um, the prime icons and icon swaps re set resetting. Uh, and then basically like the whole season resetting as well, because there's 12 hours left, as you can see, kind of by my face cam up in the top right. There are 12 hours left of this entire season, which is ending uh, on Friday today. So I want to talk about some of that stuff, talk about team of the year nominees going out of packs. And actually, I know some of the details for the giveaways tomorrow that is uh, basically making this hashtag FIFA Friday a thing. So this is what EA tweeted tonight. They said, get ready for the footmas edition of hashtag FIFA Friday. I don't know if you guys remember back during FIFA 19, I think it was during team of the season, they did a FIFA Friday where they gave out away a bunch of stuff through random streamers on Twitch. This year, looks like they're doing that same thing again. Starting at 2.30 p.m. UK on December 20th, they're gonna be dropping into different streams on Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube all day, giving away signed football shirt, in-game items, including team of the years and icons. So I actually have some of the details on what is going to be given out tomorrow in terms of when they go to these streams, what they're going to be giving away. Now, it seems like a lot of these streams have been chosen already. It doesn't seem like it's going to be random like last year's was uh, because it looks like some of these streams are kind of chosen through the Game Changers network through some of those streamers who are Game Changers with EA in that partnership. This is maybe one of the things that they get to do as a part of being uh, cooperating with EA Sports. So I don't know if that's the case for all the streams, but I do know that for at least where the info I got, uh, it will be a Twitch stream. So basically, I want to take you guys through what they're going to be giving away in these streams. They're going to be giving away three items, and it, it sounds like it's going to be pretty uniform for each stream. They're going to be giving away three items each stream. The first giveaway is going to be a signed kit a signed kit, uh, which will be kind of different per, per stream. They're going to be giving away basically a signed football kit uh, in the stream. That'll be giveaway number one, which is sweet, right? Signed kits. They'll probably have some big name players, right? This is EA. They definitely have the opportunity to go all out with these. I mean, they have affiliations with all different leagues and nations and the big clubs and stuff like that. So I would, I would expect to have some big time names as a part of these giveaways in terms of the jerseys. Um, so that is the first thing they're going to be giving away. The second thing they're going to be giving away is basically the ability to whoever who wins the giveaway, they're going to be giving or granting that person an opportunity to get a version of whatever card in the game they want at that time tomorrow, December 20th or today, December 20th at this day, whatever is in the game, whatever cards are in the game, whatever is out on the market in the game, they can get that card in their club, whatever card they want, whether it be an icon, whether it be like a team of the group stage, a nominee card, maybe a scream card, whatever card they want, they will be able to get it in their club for FIFA Ultimate Team. Basically, the cards that they can pick from, from again, if you win that giveaway inside of a stream, is going to be any card that is available in the game on that date, right? So today, December 20th, what cards are available in the game? Now, does that mean that they could get, if Prime Icons come into packs at 6 p.m. UK, does that mean that you're gonna be able to pick a Prime Icon? I'm assuming yes, because technically those cards are gonna be in. We'll see what happens with who wins those giveaways, but um, that's gonna be something to, to keep an eye out for and to watch these streams and to see what happens with some of these cards. So that's the second giveaway. Then the third giveaway is, this one's pretty sick as well. They're actually gonna be giving away team of the year cards. You're probably like, yo, how are they actually gonna give away team of the years? Well, basically how they're gonna do it is, they're gonna be giving them away through kind of like a looking ahead type situation and type system, right? So basically team of the year cards, the voting is still open. It has not been finalized yet. And when that voting is finalized and when the team of the year cards actually come out, whoever wins that portion of the giveaway in these live streams is going to be able to choose which team of the year card. They're going to be choose any team of the year card that is in the starting 11 for team of the year. And they're going to be able to choose which team of the year card that they want uh, for their ultimate team. So they're going to be able to get one team of the year card, basically untradeable from the team of the year. Any single team of the year item that they would want, they'll be able to get that for winning that portion of the giveaway. So obviously, you know that those team of the year cards have not been finalized yet. We don't exactly know um, 
who is going to be in team of the year just yet because the voting is still going on but those are the three things that are going to be given away today and i wanted to kind of talk about that with you guys because i know people were unsure of like what this tweet means and i got some info today from a streamer who's going to be doing a giveaway and that is basically what is going on now it says including hashtag team of the year and icons so i wonder if they're going to be doing different sorts of giveaways in each stream uh, but I'm pretty sure that they're going to be tweeting this out all day tomorrow. They're going to tweet out what stream they're going into and what time to look for that stream and when they're going to be doing the giveaways and stuff like that. So you probably will see a lot of tweet notifications for EA Sports today on the 20th uh, when you when you get on to when you see Twitter, Twitter notifications, which if I were you guys, I would have Twitter notifications turned on for EA because it is very helpful to get on the ball for things when they tweet out stuff. Uh, so yeah, that is very helpful. So I wanted to talk about that first. The hashtag Footmas edition, edition of FIFA Friday, that is going to be coming tomorrow. Now, that makes me think, what kind of content are we going to see in the game today on Friday? Well, we should be getting our normal two Footmas SBCs and whatever else are going to put out content-wise in the game. But them doing that really doesn't make me think that there's going to be another like promo on the game, right? I mean, we didn't get a loading screen for Road to the Final today. I don't really know if they're going to be... Um, doing a set, another set of Road to the Final cards because we technically already have two separate sets, even though it doesn't equal out to the total number of players that we had last year. We had like two full teams last year. We already have um, kind of two sets of these Road to the Final cards. So like, you know, we have the Road to the Final set one, Road to the Final set two. I don't know if they're going to do a third one. Um, and I think a lot of people were, were figuring that was going to come today. And I just don't really know if it is because we haven't had any lead up or anticipation for it, except for the fact that they've been dropping SBCs all this week for Road to the Final or technically Europa League cards. So maybe we, since we've gotten like three Europa League SBCs or player picks with the, the Forest and the Kent, and I did the Diego Carlos and the Yannick Belasi today, maybe we're going to get a few of the Champions League wants to watch cards, or not wants to watch, uh, Road to the Final cards in SBCs for the next couple of days as a part of Footmas as well. That is a possibility. Uh, but I don't actually know if we're going to see a whole new set of cards come into the game. I'm not entirely sure about that. My gut feeling is no. Uh, but I knew a lot of people were talking about that for today's content on Friday. Other stuff that could be coming today. Now, this is for sure because the season is ending, right? 12 hours and 20 minutes, as you can see up here in the top right. Um, part of it's blocked, but you can see the 12 hours. The season objectives, like the season, right? This literal season two only has 12 hours left in it. So if you're going for the Oxley Chamberlain, if you're going for the Gelson Martins or the Danilo, you have 12 hours left from the time of this recording. I think it's about till 6 p.m. UK-ish, or maybe 5 p.m. UK is when this expires, something like that. Uh, that's how long you have to actually complete this and to get it done and over with. And then tomorrow this will all reset. We'll have new players and we'll have new season objectives probably. And that's one thing that I wanted to mention. This Gabamon and Tiago Mendez are going to be going away today because these are tied to the season, right? These are tied to the season. So all this stuff is going away. Icon swaps are going to be over and all the week five golds and stuff are going to be over. Now the milestones and foundations will not move because these are not time related. These are going to stay the same. So if you guys are trying to complete Trossard or Politano, they are not going to expire. They will be there, right? So that's something to keep in mind as well. But that also makes me think that we're going to get the prime icons and the icon swap tomorrow. Now, some people have been mentioning, are they going to delay that until Monday? Are we actually not going to see like the primes in, until Monday? Uh, well, I you can see all these, the primes in the game now. So somebody told me today that since the fact that a lot of these primes, you can actually search up in the game now. Uh, kind of tells me that I think uh, that we're going to be getting them tomorrow, right? Because you used you used to not be able to search a lot of these cards in the market. If I was, if I'm correct, like Prime Maradona, you, you used to be able to type in his name and it wouldn't come up, right? But now it's there. Prime Garincha is there. Prime Mateus is there at 93. Prime Maldini. So that makes me think that we are getting these cards in the game today on Friday, since we can actually search them and see them. On the transfer market that is my my opinion so i think for today's content at 6 p.m you're going to see the two footmas sbcs maybe a pack supply sbc and maybe another sort of like road to the final or champions league sbc or two or one or whatever 
And then probably the whole icon stuff is going to be happening with new swaps. So it's going to be a ton of stuff from EA tomorrow in terms of just all like overall content on their end, right? So maybe not a ton of stuff in the game. Maybe the swaps don't come until Monday, but the prime icons are in packs tomorrow. That's a possibility. They could do some sort of thing with like Friday and Monday for the swaps and for the, um, for the icons being in packs. If they did do it that way, I would think the prime icons would come into packs tomorrow and then the swaps would be on Monday. That's how I think they would order it. Uh, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. But again, you know, them doing this, the hashtag FIFA Friday with the footmas edition stuff really doesn't show me that they're going to do a lot of content in the game, right? Because if they wanted people to be focused on in-game stuff, then they wouldn't maybe try to drag people all across the internet on Twitch, on YouTube, and on Mixer, trying to get them to get in streams and get in giveaways, right? They, they would want their focus on that. If they wanted their focus on new content in the game and opening packs and stuff, then I think they would drop content in the game, right? Kind of makes sense, yeah? So I'm not entirely sure um, what their goal is with that. And that kind of makes me think that we might not get a ton of content tomorrow besides the two Footmas SBCs and maybe a pack supply SBC. So maybe three SBCs tomorrow, and then we'll get the reset of objectives. That's kind of a lot of stuff, though, at the season end. So we'll see exactly what comes in terms of content tomorrow. But speaking of content tomorrow, I want to talk about today's content really quick. Uh, I keep saying tomorrow as well. Tomorrow, I mean Friday, because when I'm recording this, it's still Thursday, my time. But for you guys waking up and watching this video, it's Friday morning. So that's what I mean. When I say tomorrow and all this stuff, I'm talking about Friday morning. It's just so you guys are aware of that. But... Uh, today's content with Havertz, with Goncalo Guedes, and the Phantom Gabriel Jesus, right? The Phantom Gabriel Jesus, which if you guys have not seen that card, uh, it was technically leaked um, on like the in-game images when on the companion app. I think even in the game as well. They had this card in the game, and now it's not there. I think I might have figured out why this card is not in the game yet, boys. Because of its objective, right? And all the other objective, Gabamon and Mendez, both were attached to the season to end date which is friday at 6 p.m or 5 p.m uk which is when those will go away right so if ea put this in objectives yesterday and they set it up like they normally had then this card would get would be expiring in a day after it came out which really wouldn't make sense if you're gonna allow people to grind to a card like this so i think that's why they pulled this out today and didn't actually put it on the game i do still think we're gonna see this card uh, so if you want to try to invest in links to this, I think it is possible because I think a lot of people would grind for this because it's a solid upgrade, plus threes and plus fours in just about every category. I mean, his finishing on this card, 88 finishing, which is really solid, 90 positioning, really high agility and balance, good stamina as well. So this is going to be an OP card. He's four-star skills, three-star weak foot, and he's Man City, and he's Brazilian. So a lot of people are going to want to do that card, and I do believe it's going to be an objective based on what they had in the game today. So that's something to think about right there with that card. Uh, by the way, we're supposed to get six objective cards over this footmas period. And I think they just realized that they messed up tying the season of like the season objective time frame and this this uh, 12 hours left, like tying these footmas uh, objectives to that time frame. I think they're realizing they messed up there. And because they wanted to give people time to do these, but now they have to drop four more objective players. And I think there's only four more days left of this freaking promo, man. So Gabriel Jesus, whatever objective players we're going to be getting, it's going to be quick. And they're probably going to come out really soon because they said in their post over here on, on, uh, on their actual website, they said six more footmas players will be available via objectives, giving you potential for 30 footmas players in total. So I think we're going to get these SBCs, and I think it's got to come from objectives. I think they just timed it wrong, honestly. I really think that's just what they did with these objectives. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. And then the SBCs from today. I do not understand why we got Havertz today. Havertz literally doesn't fit into any of the possibilities for the what we should have gotten today. Uh, Goncalo Guedes from Portugal. Yes, the, the Portugal nationality was up next in the count up of the nations. And Leverkusen was not up next in the countdown of the uh, teams and their placements. If you look at this graph over here, which has been what we've been going by so far this year, Leverkusen got fourth last year in the Bundesliga. Today was day six. Uh, Thursday was day six. So we should have gotten a player, somebody from the Bundesliga. So today on Friday, we should be getting Arsenal, Getafe, Gladbach, Marseille, or Milan. So obviously we'd love ourselves an Arsenal player, right? 
uh, if you're an Arsenal fan, that'd be sick. And there's a lot of good players that we could choose from. Even a guy like a, a Footmas Genduzzi, a Bamiyang, Lacazette from last year would be cool. Um, I mean, that's a card that people use a lot in the early game this year. So I do see one of those teams being represented tomorrow with Arsenal, Getafe, Gladbach, Marseille, and Milan. And the other would be the, the Spanish nationality would be the other one that we could get, right? So maybe they throw in like a Rodrigo. We already have gotten Inaki Williams, but maybe Rodrigo is a possibility. Maybe they do like a Busquets. I don't know. Um, maybe Isco. They got they did him last year. Maybe Sergio Roberto. I'm just throwing out random names of who they could do. But it should be a Spanish player tomorrow and somebody from uh, those uh, clubs that we mentioned a little bit ago too. So we should have some uh, decent SBCs tomorrow, hopefully. All the SBCs they've, put, they've been putting out the past three days have been good value, quote unquote. So hopefully they continue that trend with those cards right there. Now you've seen me been searching up Team of the Year nominees as you see me looking through some of these cards, I want to talk about these cards a little bit. They are still really rare on this game. Why is that? Well, they really had a high drop weight on the market, right? But how many packs did we have open this week? We really didn't have a ton of packs open this week. I'm going to buy that for 76. Thank you. That's a decent deal. I'm actually starting to invest in some of these cards as they go out of packs. Now, I would be very careful with this and make sure you choose ones that are very meta that people love to use in their teams uh, because I've seen so much demand for these cards over this week time span that they've been in packs, right? Because some of these cards don't have other informs in this game. Some of these cards don't have any other special cards except for their UCLs, right? So Allison is somebody who's 150K selling consistently early on in the week. I just bought a few for like 94, 93, and he's all the way up to 100. Really, did somebody just buy his card up to 100K? I really think that they did, almost. So I think there's people that have started to invest in these cards a little bit, but I think they have a good reasoning to invest in them because they are out-of-pack special cards that are Team of the Year nominees. They're only plus one ratings, but some of these guys don't have other special cards in this game, and these cards just look cool, right? They just look cool, and there's actually some people that think these cards are live. Please, if you think this card is live, this is not a live item, okay? This is really not a live item. Please, I hope that you know that. I hope that you know that. Not making fun of anybody, all right? But these cards are not live items. Just get that in your mind. Get wrapped up get, just so you know it, okay? These cards are not live, all right? But they have cool dynamic images. They have minor stat upgrades. And they're all really good players from really good teams, really good nationalities. So I do think there is some hype with these cards. I do think there's a possibility that they rise out of packs. Again, I'm really choosing OP and meta ones. Um, but I think a lot of them do have a do have an opportunity to rise. Even a guy like Fabinho, right? Uh, who does have an inform in this game. But, I mean, this card right here is not that bad of a card for his, his Team of the Year nominee. A lot of these guys have decent variants for their Team of the Year nominee version. So, I do think it is a possibility that these cards rise out of packs because it is obvious that they have some demand on this game based off of how much I saw people buying them this week. So I'm looking at the cards that people use a lot in this game. That, you know, Trent Alexander-Arnold is only like 20,000 coins. I think that's a deal. Roberto Firmino, he's got his gold card and then he has this card and then you have the scream card, right? Which is a huge, huge difference between if people want to upgrade the Firmino on their teams, uh, they have to use this version or the scream, right? And the scream is like 900K. So that's a crazy, crazy price difference between those cards. So I do think that this could be a decent riser out of packs. Roberto Firmino's team of the year nominee. Now I, I understand why people don't like buying before Fridays because we've had a lot of crashes and panic on Fridays, but I really don't feel like unless EA drops something totally unexpected today on Friday, that the market would crash down even further. I really don't think so. It seems like they want a lot of the focus on this hashtag foot miss FIFA Friday giveaway type stuff. So that seems to be where the focus mostly is uh, for today on Friday. So I think I've talked just about everything. Oh, the 80 plus upgrade packs, man. The 80 plus upgrade packs. Now I can't speak for everybody, but these have been really, really solid for me. Um, I've done a few of these and I got team of the year Kimmich from these. I got that, um, let me just search from special cards that I got acquire date newest. I got um, I got this Kimmich from that SBC today, and I got Sancho from those SBC upgrades. I've done like 30 of them, and I've packed one Kimmich and one Inform Sancho and a bunch of other high rateds. Like if we just go gold, who else did I get from these SBCs today? I got uh, Rodri, I got Sule, Parejo, and yeah, 
I've gotten most of these guys, the Kieta, Lingard, like I've gotten some decent high rated fodder and I've actually turned some of the high rated fodder in because I did Diego, Diego Carlos. Actually, I know you guys don't really care about my team, but this is my team at the moment. Um, yeah, I did this SBC today. I bought Ederson and uh, moved some guys around to get Sancho on chem. So this is my squad right now at the moment. Got some new players in there. Don't know if you guys rate it, but uh, as a gold three merchant, I do enjoy playing the game sometimes. <laughs> so we're changing up a little bit with some of these new players and some of the pack pulls that I got, and it should be fun. But those packs are decent, man. And they're out for 10 days, which I find interesting. I find it very interesting. These are out for 11 days, basically. That kind of also makes me think that something else could be coming. We have like so many conflicting signs today, right? We have this showing that, hey, if these are out like for a little while, like what else is going to be coming SBC wise? Are we getting a team of the week SBC today on Friday? Maybe. Maybe they put this out so that we can grind the the 82s and 83s and get those upgrades into our into our clubs to do the the inform SBC. And we did get a decently juiced team of the week, so we have some big name players in there that people might want to do the SBC for. So I do think that is a possibility for today content. Maybe a team of the week SBC. That is very possible. But tons of information in this video. Hashtag footmiss. Hashtag FIFA Friday. Should be an interesting day, right? Should have some content. Should have the reset of the seasons, prime icons coming into packs, hopefully, maybe some new icon swaps, and of course, a bunch and a bunch of giveaways over on Twitter and on the multiple streaming websites. I'll be streaming tomorrow, twitch.tv backslash a foot account. Make sure you check me out there. Check me out on Twitter as well. All those links are in the description. If you enjoyed the video, boys, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.